Howdy folks, Tax Grabner here with Tax Grabner Outdoors. Hope you guys heard if you Tax Grabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness because we're going to be making it weird. Now this is going to be a tutorial on how I texture my spear handles and also kind of an initial review on a new spear that I got a hold of. As you can see here, I have a ridiculous amount of cold steel sambarus that I've accumulated over the years, but one of these isn't like the others. That's because I got a hold of the new Messiah Spear from Lynn Thompson's new brand. So I'm pretty excited to show that off to you guys and give you the tutorial on how I actually texture up my spear handles. With that being said, there will be an Illinois archery season. There will be a series. Have no fear. You're going to get to see if I break the whitetail curse, but Wiley Coyote is my spirit animal, so I'm not all that hopeful. I just have to have time to go out and do the hunting, film the hunts, and do the production in the post-production end of things. It's a lot of work, it takes time, and the animals have to cooperate, which they don't. So there will be a series. I just feel like you guys would rather me hold it back rather than posting in real time so that you actually have something to watch in February when seasonal depression is hitting even harder. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this week's episode of Tex Grabbing Your Outdoors. If you guys are looking for a discount on all your Trad Life supplies and to show your support for Tex Grabbing Your Outdoors as a brand, use the code Tex Grabbing Your in your checkout at Three Rivers Archery on orders over $100. Now they have their own code, but you show your support for Tex Grabbing Your Outdoors by using my code on orders over $100 for free shipping because a lot of people in the world don't like me. I know, you're shocked. If you guys are looking for some high-end hunting ammunition between 30-06 all the way up to 505 Gibbs, or you're wanting to take a 12-gauge and make it be able to kill a rhino, check out my friends over at Aria Ballistic Engineering. They're in stock and shipping around the clock. If you're looking to armor the front of your arrows and get into the Ethics Archery system, use the code of TGO10 at ethicsarchery.com and that will give you a 10% discount on your purchase price for your outsert insert combinations. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this week's episode of Text Grabbing Your Outdoors, because we're going to be making it weird. Well, I got a hold of one of the Maasai Spears from Lynn Thompson's new brand, and I'm pretty excited about it. And mostly the point of this video is going to be showing how I do my handle texturing for a tutorial, but we're going to talk about the Maasai Spear as well. First and foremost, this isn't going to kill anything any deader than a Samburu. It just isn't. Because the Samburus are pretty devastating. And they're still pretty much my favorite. But let's say that a Samburu is like a 30-06. This is like a 375 H&H. If I had to compare it in firearms power terminology. Because a Samburu is 2 pounds. This is 3 pounds. And it's honestly pretty much a multi-tool. Assuming that I didn't glue this together. You have pretty much a gladius here, a handle, and a spike. Now this spike, you dig roots and you dig water with, or if you have an enemy or an animal on the ground, this is a dispatch tool so that you can puncture the skull. So if you actually took this apart, you have basically a sword that is very capable of chopping. You have a digging stick. And quite frankly, people in primitive cultures are as good with their weaponry as we are at texting and driving. And I hate calling it primitive cultures because madness shared by many is culture. So I'm really impressed with the Maasai spear and obviously I had to put my own medicine touches on it. Is it worth basically a hundred dollars? Yeah, pretty much. Now, I haven't actually put my fancy sharpening on here yet, but I'm just really glad to have it because at this point, 
I'm basically a collector. If you're wanting to do this, take your spear out of the packaging that it comes in, fit it together with decent friction fit just by twisting it on there. Take yourself a knife or a razor blade and just scribe a line around where the end of the chalice comes out of the spear. That way you have a marker for where you can put electrical tape or painter's tape on so that you're not getting epoxy where it doesn't belong until you actually want it to. So once you've done that, mix up your epoxy and you can use a paper towel or a paintbrush. The most important part is getting an even light coat. So rotate the spear, make sure to get an even light coat and once that's done, now this is five minute epoxy and time sensitive, you don't want to be interrupted, get some playground sand or sandbox sand and at a decent distance so that it scatters in the breeze, you can toss it on there and as much needs to be on there will stick to it. As much doesn't need to be on there will end up in the breeze. That way you don't end up with a bunch of clumping or basically turn your handle into concrete. I've done that before. So once the five minute epoxy has at least set up, Take yourself some duck boat paint or some chalkboard paint and spritz a couple of coats on. Once you have it painted to your desire, you can use a poly seal on it to make sure that the paint won't wear off on your hands. And here you see the finished product all cured up. And it's not the best that I've done, but it's a real good example of how it will look. And I'm a huge fan of doing this on the spear handles to make sure that you have better throwing control in the moment of truth. Something that I've always really liked about brands that Lynn Thompson has been involved with over the course of my life and in his careers is that when you pick up the novelty items like the Cold Steel Spears or like his new brand that has the Maasai and the Samburu in it as well, they don't feel novelty. They don't feel mall ninja. Like they're legitimate weapons and I really like that. Even this boomerang. Right? Like, who would ever think, ah, we're going to make a boomerang out of polypropylene? But I do think it'd be interesting to actually get real good with this and maybe take her down to Oklahoma and get like a 20 pound pig with it. That is, if I could actually get real good with that boomerang. Because trust me, I wouldn't want to be hit with it. So. I hope that this video has been helpful to you if you're looking to get into texturing spear handles or you were interested in the Maasai spear that Lynn Thompson just put out. As always, God bless all my sports in America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please got my friends over at ThreeRiversArchery.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement, you good cops out there. And those of you serving in the military are ready to die for freedom anywhere. And thanks for watching Text Grab Your Outdoors. Have no fear. There will be an Illinois archery season for this year. And maybe this year, I'll break the whitetail curse.